This one tea is produced in the area around the Guzhu Mountain of Changxin County, Huzhou, Zhejiang Province. This one means purple bamboo shoes in Chinese. It got this name from the classics on tea book by the Chinese tea master Lu Yu. This one tea was designated as the tribute tea in Tang Dynasty, and it remained the tribute tea throughout the Song. Yuan and Anti of the late Qing Dynasty. It had been continuously given to the imperial family as tribute for 876 years. Since ancient times, Guzhu Mountain has been famous for Zisun Tea and Jinsha Spring. The leaves of Zisun Tea are picked from wild tea trees in the mountain. Surrounded by dense trees and plants, the trees are not exposed to direct sunlight. Tea is divided into five different levels. Of the Zisun Tribute Tea, the highest level is the compressed tea cakes. However, the production of tea cakes is very complicated, and since the Ming Dynasty, tea cakes have gradually been replaced by loose tea leaves. Because这块茶饼不仅仅是我们看到的它这个外形 Cutting fresh leaves is the first step in the tea making. Evenly spread the freshly picked tea leaves on bamboo sieves and put the sieves in a room with a good ventilation so that the moisture within the leaves could be redistributed. Due to water loss during the tatting process, tea leaves become stiff in appearance and soft to the touch. Then, it is time to put the tea leaves in the steamer for fixation. There are four different methods for fixation, including frying, steaming, baking, and soaking. The most important factor in steaming is temperature. If the temperature is too low, the tea leaves will turn red. If the temperature is too high, the tea leaves will become yellow. Satin it is very important to have a good control of the temperature and the time of the steaming fixation process, which is also what Yang Ya Jing is most concerned about. Chinese people love the aroma and the taste of tea. Using steaming during the fixation process can preserve the aroma and the taste of tea. After steaming, the tea leaves are deeper in color and have become juicier. When the tea leaves are mashed by a mallet, fresh juice from the tea can be seen. What makes Zisun tea different from the other kinds is that it is not bitter but slightly sweet. When the tea leaves are mashed, the fragrant sweetness fills the house. The mashed tea leaves are collected into the lump, put into a circular mold, and pressed by hand into a tea cake. Making tea cakes is a very useful way to store tea. Good tea cakes can be preserved for 30 to 50 years. In the Tang Dynasty, the Chinese people had a very complicated procedure for drinking tea. Tea cakes would be broken, mashed, and grounded into powder. As for the water, 
There was the first phase boiling and the second phase boiling, which differs in temperature. Compressed Zisun tea cakes, small and exquisite, show a tint of light green and look adorable. Now, it is time for the last procedure, drying. Place the Zisun tea cakes evenly in a drying machine and bake them for three to five days. This process is established by Yang Yajing through thousands of experiments. The history of Chinese tea culture can be traced back to thousands of years. In the Ming Dynasty, Zhu Yuanzhang abolished the production of compressed tea cakes to promote the production of loose tea leaves. Compressed tea cakes gradually retreated from the stage of history, and its production techniques were also lost. Now, with the reproduction of compressed Zisun tea cakes, the tea drinking rituals and the etiquette popular in the Tang Dynasty is also recovered, which would once again leave a strong mark in the Chinese tea culture.